Hey YouTube, Texas Blades here. We're going to do an unboxing today on our new knife we just picked up. Uh, now I'm not going to BS you, I already pulled this out of the box and looked at it and uh, tested the edge on it and all that good stuff. So I do have some thoughts, but it's just first impressions. I haven't actually used the knife yet. Uh, so we'll do a full review on this after we use it for at least a few weeks. I've got a lot of fat wood to process, so we're going to do some uh, fat wood processing with it and then we'll come back and do a review on it. You can see it's a condor, and probably from the title you already know what it is. It's the Bushcraft, let me see, Bushcraft Basic 5 inch. Let's see if it'll pick that up there. There you go. Um, out of the box, I can tell you, this is the second uh, Bushcraft style knife I've bought. And I'm not really a Bushcrafter, but I do like a good Camp Task knife. Uh, and I love the Topps Bob, don't get me wrong, it's a great knife. Uh, but it's more like a utility blade to me. It's something that you can beat on, you know, do anything with. I love the Topps Bob for all around tasks, but I wanted something that was kind of like a camp kitchen knife, uh, and that's why I went with this one. It's got a walnut handle, I do know that. Uh, I can tell you it's nowhere near as sharp as the Topps Bob out of the box. Although the uh, Topps Bob just <laughs> doesn't come with a box. You just get it in a bag. Which right on, it's not as expensive as like the uh, uh, Benchmade Bushcrafter that we're looking at. Which it would be a cool blade, it's just uh, kind of pricey. Tops of bottle, at least you save a little bit of money. About 50 bucks less. Uh, but this one was right about 30. And it's thin. Uh, so that tells me that, you know, I'm not going to beat on it as much. I would still baton some fatwood with it. Wouldn't have a problem doing a little bit of batoning with it. Um, definitely going to have to put an edge on it out of the box. I don't like the edge that's on it. I, I just tried a paper cut test and uh, cutting some cordage with it, just playing around with it. Uh, I didn't cut anything hard, and uh, it was having trouble cutting the paper. You know, of course it sliced through the cordage, but not as easy as, uh, you know, the tops. And that's all I really have to compare it to. Even the Schrade uh, SCHF 36 we showed is... A, uh, it, it's sharper out of the box than this one is and I do like the sheath although I can tell you that the sheath on the inside uh, there's two patches I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not there's two patches down in these sheaths and you can see right there it's made to cover up that steel button so you don't scratch up your blade and this patch, the one on the bottom is perfectly over the metal button. And this one's just like off to the side so they didn't glue it well. And the inside of the sheath comes out on the knife. Like the knife's always dirty when you pull it out of the sheath. It did come well oiled from the factory. So no rust anywhere on it or anything. Not anything I noticed anyways. Uh, I'm kind of worried about the coating. I think the coating's going to come off pretty easy. I don't know. We'll test it, though. We'll find out, and then we'll come back and do a full review on it. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.